Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna be on site as we weld on tabs to a portable storage container that a store wanted us to secure for them to the concrete slab they poured. It's a small back, so to open up storage space, they had us do it. So we're right now marking where on the blueprints they wanted these secure tabs. Here's me showing you how to tie an extension cord so it doesn't come apart when you're pulling it. A little knot tip there. I'm right now cleaning up the welding site with a wire wheel because the container is painted and it has thick paint and primer. And even though I'm stick welding, it'll burn through a lot. You want to get rid of it. I'm using 7018 so it doesn't burn as well as like a 6011. If you haven't yet, a like and subscribe click would be awesome on this video and to my channel. I would appreciate it. Elena would appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. We're getting about 50 views a day, which is awesome. And I'm just gonna weld, so it's a fillet weld, a bead right along the edge of the side and curl around a little on the corner and towards the back. So it was like one inch side welds on that thin lip on the bottom of the container. Again, it's just to keep the container from scooting if a forklift hits it or whatever and uh, getting off the slab. And it secures it down just in case if there was, I guess, a mass robbery with a giant truck to rip this thing out of here. And there, as you can see, are the side welds. Now, due to the lip being higher we smashed down these tabs a little bit so it would be up against the concrete so the all thread could fit in there good the holes were oversized so we could have a bit of a tilt and the all thread could still fit into it now as you can see we're drilling the hole we made the hole big enough on the tab to where we could put the final all thread fit through We have a drill bit on this Milwaukee concrete drill that cuts the rebar as well. So that's a tip for anybody who does a lot of drilling into concrete. Make sure your drill bit can cut through rebar because if you get concrete only bits and you hit rebar, it just destroys the bit and then you're out of luck. So we're blowing out the hole that we just drilled with compressed air from an air compressor, getting all that dust out of there. And then we get a bottle brush and you go up and down, up and down. It's three times, you blow it out three times. And that is to code. The installation of the all thread into the concrete was what was being inspected, not the weld. And that is what the inspector signs off on as you're going along doing each hole and installing each all thread. Hey, Matt Padlow here. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It's fun to bring you along to installations, to on-site stuff. A little about the inspection, it passed with flying colors. The owner was there, the inspector was there. By now, we're such veterans in this industry that we're unfazed by protocol in the construction sector. We don't fail inspections, we only pass because we know what we're doing. That's all an inspector is there to do, is just to make sure you know what you're doing and you're doing your job correctly. And if you do that, inspectors are really not a big deal. And even if the owner's there, or something on the lens, even if the owner's there, it's no problem. I wanna thank everybody who participated in my $50 Instagram giveaway to advertise myself as a realtor. Go follow me at Matt Padlow on Instagram if you haven't already, because more giveaways will be coming your way with more money and more goodies, hopefully. It was fun, I'll definitely do it again. Yes, participation, I wish was up because it's a better return on my investment. Hopefully more people will get on the bandwagon as it becomes more known that I do giveaways and they want to participate and have the chance to win something and support me as a realtor and getting my name out there. So thanks for watching again, you guys. Make sure to follow and subscribe and let me know if there's some content that you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the next video.